This is our overview of the nephron, or what would be within the nephron of the kidney. So this is what we're filtering. It's water and some sprinkles that are different colors. So we're gonna go ahead and start pouring the sprinkles and water mix, which would be filtrate at this point. And I'm gonna show you how it's reabsorbed. So as it travels down, it's gonna be secreted Excuse me, it's going to be reabsorbed where the napkin is, which represents um, the capillaries where it's going back into the bloodstream with the solutes um, Na and Cl, and then water. So the descending loop right here is only permeable to water, so there's little slits in here. I don't have anything small enough to pour the water down into it, so. Um, just pretend that that's happening. So that's coming from the descending limb tubule. It's being secreted back out into the blood, the water is. At the bottom of the loop of Henley, the solute concentration should be about the most, or the highest that it will be throughout the um, system. Flowing out from the ascending limb would be NaCl, which is represented by the little sprinkles, and that's flowing back out into the bloodstream, represented by the um, napkin. So we're at the distal convoluted tubule, and it's going to be reabsorbing Na and Cl ions to set up for a concentration gradient so that water will be able to flow passively and easier and quicker. So going back up to the PCT, what would be um, secreted at this point would be like antibiotics and uric acid um, and any sort of diuretic. Now for secretion at the distal convoluted tu tubule, um, we're gonna pretend that this is um, hydrogen, just oh, white sprinkle, and it's gonna go into here, if I can get it, okay, and then we're going to pretend that this red one is um, potassium, and it's going to be secreted into the tubule. Okay. So from the DCT to the collecting duct, it's going to go into the, through the ureters to, let's say this is the bladder. And this is the external sphincter, the guarding reflex of the bladder, um, and it's causing the contraction of the um, urethral sphincter. And then once I were to open this cap, um, here, let's see. so when I open this cap, it would be the voiding reflex. And it would let water flow out. 